In chapter 11, we're going to study trees, which are special types of grass, which we'll study in chapter 10. So we can actually define some trees recursively. And so we're going to begin by looking at rooted trees. And so this is a picture of how to recursively build rooted trees. So we begin by simply starting at the basis step with a root or one vertex. And the recursive step tells us that to any finite number of previously, previously defined rooted trees, we can form a new rooted trees by simply adding a root to the bottom and connecting that root to with an edge or a branch with each root of the previously defined finitely many sets of trees. So in this step one here, we can take any number of copies of previously defined trees, so simply just the roots, and connect it to a root below. So we can take one such copy and connect it below. We can take two copies and connect it, them together by a common root. We can take three copies and connect them all together with a common root. We can take four copies and connect them together with a common root, and so on. In the next step, we can take any finite number of copies of the previous two steps and add them together with a common root. So simply we can take this existing tree and add a root and connect it. We can take this existing tree and add a root and connect it. We can take this existing tree and add a root and connect it. Or this one and add a root and connect it. Or we can take any combination of this and this and connect them by a single root. Or any infinite, finitely many copies of this tree. Or finitely many different combinations of any of these connected together with a root. And so on. So we continue to build up taller and taller trees in this way. So what exactly does this recursive definition look like? So first of all, let's just remind ourselves that the set of rooted trees consists of a set of, set of vertice, vertices containing a distinguished vertex called the root and edges connecting these vertices. So that's what a rooted tree looks like. It has a common vertice as a root and then all other vertices are connected by edges or branches. So our recursive definition is defined by, with a basis step and recursive step. So the basis step, remember, is simply that a single vertex R is a rooted tree. And the recursive step tells us that if we have any finite collection of disjoint or different rooted trees, denoted by capital T1, T2, and Tn, they're rooted trees so they each have corresponding roots R1, R2, and Rn respectively. So then we form a new rooted tree by simply adding a root R to the bottom of each of these rooted trees, T1, T2, Tn, and connecting that root R with each of the roots of the corresponding trees to form a new rooted tree. So that is the recursive definition in words of the picture described, and the process described in pictures on this slide. So next we will look at a particular type of rooted tree called a full binary tree.